Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a login program that will save a password, a username, over a restart, and also allow the user to change it when logging in. This will be using no modules, although I have imported a few here that I may use in the future. I have done some pre-initialization, this does not need to be done, just my preference. So let's start it off. First we want to do user name equals open and then as you can see here we have some parameters. First we want to punch in the first parameter. For me it will be username dot txt. This is a file it's going to look for in the directory you are currently in and it will read from it later on. So right now we want to read, so put an R. This will require some basic Python knowledge. Underneath this we are going to want to put username dot read So we want to do user underscore read equals username. Right there we're creating a simple variable that is equal to username.read. This will be used when the login part of the code is being used. So then we want to do user name dot close. We want to duplicate this one more time for the password. Now that's done, you will create two files in your directory. Just normal text files, one name password, one name username. You want to put admin in one of them and admin in the other. Save them and that will be your username with password. They do not have to be admin but for this example that's what I'm going to have. So now we have the password and username being read. We're setting it to user read and that's all we need for now. So now we will write two variables user underscore user equals input and we'll do the same thing underneath user underscore pass equals input. So we'll save it. What we do now is we can write a simple if statement. If user underscore user is equal to the variable we stated up here, user underscore read, then we want to pass else want to make error equal one so let's make a simple var up here which is a variable error equals zero at the moment so then we will write another if statement sorry about my presentation there's something I uh Let's keep up standing. And we will pass. Now pass is a statement that allows Python to do absolutely nothing when it's called. 
then we'll put else here and we'll have error equals one and then we'll say if error is equal to one print error and then random dot rand range will do 1 to 101 1 to 102 we'll say you don't need to do this you can just print any error we'll sleep for one second and then quit and we'll write else print okay So if we run this, my mistake, there should be two equals to that. So we'll put admin and admin. You see, it returned OK because of the code. I'll give you a second to read this code over and copy it down. OK. So now comes the other bit. Let's type in S and S. We got a random error with a random error code. So everything's working. So here we can say else will pass. Then we can print. Um, we can just print anything here. We could put. Uh, So then we can say cmd equals input. So what we can put then is if cmd is equal to user print fill in the follow. fill in the following then we can say new underscore user equals input then we can say new username then what we can do is put new underscore password equals input new password so here we'll say new user equals open and let's open the username file again But this time, we're going to write to the file, so I'll put a W here. So we'll put new user dot write new user. Then we want to close this. So we'll do new user dot close and now we'll do the exact same for password Now that's done, we can cast this into a simple for loop or while. So while running, and then we can indentate all of this. We can also put another if statement.
and we can sleep and quit. Sorry, my mistake. Sleep one. Running. Equals false. Which is a boolean. So up here in the variables we want to set running the equal to true. So now I need to fix this because I forgot to put password. There we go. So now if we do this again, we put admin, we put gym, and admin, it will work. If we put user, and type in Bob and Jim, and quit. And if we launch this again, we just did gym and admin. That no longer works and it throws us this random number. So if we do this again and type in Bob and Jim, it works. Thank you for watching and I hope this helped. If it did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you and I hope this helped you. Have a great afternoon or morning, wherever you are. See ya. Thank you.